Hey guys, so today I'm going to be trying out the new Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. This is supposed to be just like the stick foundation. I just got a little sample size from Sephora to try it out. So I do like the stick foundation version. I think it's a little much for every day, but it's a nice full coverage like event going out foundation and I'm going to wear this all day just to see how it wears and if I think it is just like the stick foundation so let's try this out so here's the little bottle just an itty bitty sample size I got mine in the shade shell so this is supposed to be full coverage and you're only supposed to have to use half a pump of this. Now this little sample size doesn't come with a pump. It has like a little spatula on the end I guess. So I don't know about the half a pump thing but I'm going to try to use just a little bit of product just to see how full coverage it is. And I'm going to try out a beauty blender and a brush so I can see the two side differences. And I don't have a primer on. It says that you don't need a primer for this. So just have my regular moisturizer on. So I think I'm going to start on this side with a brush. I'm going to be using my IT Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush. So I'm just going to apply just a few little swipes since it's supposed to be more full coverage. We will see. See, this one's like a tiny bit too yellow for my skin tone, but it's okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, so there it is on this side of my face. I think it does look pretty good. It did cover really well. I don't have too much to cover in my skin, but it did cover whatever redness and discoloration I have. And it does look like the stick foundation when I blend that out. It has like a nice natural finish and it's not too heavy looking on the skin. And I didn't have to use too much. I don't think I really have to build it up at all. So I do like it so far. So let's try out the sponge. I'm going to be using my Real Techniques sponge on this side. And we'll see how that looks. I'm just going to try to use about the same amount as the other side. Okay, so there it is on the sponge side. I do think I like the sponge side better just because it gives it a little bit more natural of a finish. More dewy looking, I think, which I personally like. And it did take away a little bit of the coverage, but not much. It's more like a high medium coverage right now. So I think I would use a sponge on this one in my opinion. Just looks more natural looking. Okay, so on first impression, I do like it so far. I think it looks really nice. It does cling a tiny bit to the dry patches on my face. Not too bad. But I'm going to go off camera and apply the rest of the products on my face and then I will come back and tell you how it applied with all those products and what I think of it so far. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the rest of my makeup applied on top of the foundation. And I think it all applied pretty nicely. Um, I didn't set it. I don't usually set my foundations just because I have dry skin. So don't usually do that. And I feel like it looks and feels just like the stick version of this foundation. It 
looks very natural still and it has like a slight tack to it. Like it doesn't dry down by itself at all. So if you don't like that feeling, I definitely would set this. But it is sinking into my lines a little bit around my mouth, which the stick version does as well. So just pat out the creases and I think it looks fine. So I'm going to wear this all day and at the end of the night I will check in and let you know how it looks and how I feel about it doing a full day wear test with this. And I will see you later. Okay guys, so it's the end of the night, finally. I've been wearing this foundation for like 10 hours now. So I'm really ready to take it off. And I feel like it's not as good as the stick foundation, honestly. It just gathers around my dry patches really bad. It caked up in between my eyebrows and around the sides of my nose. And it just like looks like it's sitting on top of my skin rather than meshing with my skin. So, not my favorite. I honestly think that the stick foundation is better than the liquid version, but I will try it out with a primer and see if maybe that helps. I don't know. It says that it's supposed to be a no primer foundation because it's blurring and smoothing. It definitely doesn't emphasize pores, so I mean, I'd have to agree with that, but it just does look cakey, I guess, in some parts of my face. On like my cheeks, it looks fine. It's just like in my forehead, it's settled into lines in between my eyebrows. It's just really gathered and cakey looking right there. And then again, on the sides of my nose and a little bit around my mouth. So, I mean, it didn't wear off anywhere, that's nice. But yeah, I'll have to try it with a different primer just to see if I like it better that way. Maybe a more hydrating primer just because it's clinging to dry patches. Hey guys, so I decided to wear this foundation again. I thought it would be a good idea just to half wear the stick vanish foundation on this side and then half with the liquid version on this side. This side is the stick foundation in vanilla and this side is the liquid in shell doesn't look too bad. You can't really notice the color difference too much. But I feel like this one matches my skin tone a little bit better. And it didn't wear off anywhere. I think it looks really nice. And first of all, I feel like the liquid version is just finicky, if anything. Um, first, I was going to try out the Smashbox Primer Oil just to help with the dry patches that I had yesterday. But when I tried to put primer oil on and then this foundation, it legit turned orange. So yeah, don't use the Smashbox primer oil with this one. That's a no-go. So I decided to take that side off and then I just uber moisturized. And I feel like it looks a lot better than it did yesterday just because I moisturize like a lot, a lot. So I did use the Smashbox Primer Oil on this side with the stick foundation, and I think it does look a little bit dry at the end of the day. It's just like a tiny bit dry around my nose, but otherwise I think it looks really good. And then the liquid version isn't gathering in my nose. It doesn't look dry anywhere. It looks beautiful so i really like it better today than i did yesterday i think it's very finicky you have to work in sections and blend it out because it dries really fast even though it's not a matte foundation it does dry down super quick so if you just go in and like dot it all over your face and then blend it you'll have dots on your face of foundation so work in sections with this one so Use moisturizer, 
Do not use the primer oil. That's a no. And work in sections. Work in sections. That's very important. So I think I do like this foundation now that I have learned to work with it better. So there's two wear tests with this foundation. I forgot to say earlier, but this foundation, the liquid version, retails for $56 and it has 0.84 ounces, so not even a full fluid ounce, which is pretty much standard with most foundations. And then the stick foundation is 0.25 ounces and that one is $46. So either way, you're paying a pretty hefty price, but you're getting a better deal with the liquid version. And I mean, you have to use so little product with this, it'll last you forever. And it also comes in 32 shades, both the stick and the liquid, and they're corresponding. So whichever shade you wore in the stick, you wear in the liquid. So that's up there, but... I mean, it'll last you a really long time because of how little product you have to use. Hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know if you are going to buy this foundation or not, and I will see you in my next video.